Welcome to the chapter force. This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Let us know about the types of forces. Forces exist in nature that affect the movement of humans. A common classification is contact and non-contact forces. Force at a distance or field force. Force on account of direct physical contact between two interacting objects is known as contact force. The force which occurs without any physical contact between two objects is known as a force at a distance or field force. Let us know about the contact forces. Contact forces are those forces which act only when objects are in physical contact with each other and bring about necessary changes. The following are types of contact forces. They are muscular force, frictional force. Click each tab to know more. In all the actions that we perform in our daily life like brushing, bathing, eating, writing and walking, we have to exert a force. The force which we exert by using our body muscles is known as muscular force. All animals and human beings use their muscles to do work. The muscles exert force on the object that brings its motion. Muscular force can also change the speed of moving bodies. Muscular forces can be exerted only through contact. A ball moving on the ground comes to rest after moving through some distance. A vehicle comes to rest once its engine is switched off. We know that some force is required to stop a moving body. Therefore, some force must be exerted by the ground on them to stop them. This force is called the frictional force or the force of friction. We can define friction as follows. When two surfaces slide over each other, the force which opposes this motion is called friction. As the force of friction arises when the surfaces of two objects come in contact with each other, it is called a contact force. Let us know about the non-contact forces. Some forces do not involve physical contact between the bodies on which they act. They act through the space between them. Such forces are called non-contact forces or forces acting at a distance. The following are the types of non-contact forces. They are magnetic force, electrostatic force, gravitational force. The force exerted by a magnet on iron objects is called magnetic force. The force which results due to the repulsion of similar charges or attraction of opposite charges is called electrostatic force. For example, a charged balloon attracts the pieces of paper. Newton's law of universal gravitation states that any two bodies in the universe attract each other with a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Imagine that a book is placed on a table and it does not fall down because it is supported by the table. We know that contact objects exert force to each other because of their weights. Owing to this reason, the book exerts a force to table because of its weight and table also exerts force to the book. In general, 
a direction which is perpendicular to the plane of a surface is said to be normal. Note, the attractive force between any two massive objects is called gravitational force. The force that a solid surface exerts on any object in the normal direction is called the normal force. In the above example, the downward gravitational force is being balanced by the upward normal force. Since these two forces are of equal magnitude and acting in opposite directions, the sum of these force, that is the net force acting on the book, is zero and the book is said to be in equilibrium. Imagine that a stone is suspended with the help of a thread or string and its free end is tied to the retort stand. We know that the stone would fall down due to gravitational pull or weight of the earth if the string is broken. For a stone tied to the thread, gravity pulls down the stone all the time but it does not fall down because it is supported by the thread. Thus, there exists a force which supports the stone against gravity by pulling it upward. It is called tension, which always pulls the bodies along the string. The direction of the tension force is always away from the surface of the object to which the thread is attached. When we try to stretch a thread or a string, the tightness of the thread or string is called tension. In the above example, the gravitational force is balanced by the upward tension force. The force which acts between two bodies when the bodies are not directly touching each other is called force at a distance. These forces can be explained by using the concept of a field. Let us do some activities to know more about the forces at a distance. Now, let us perform an activity to visualize the magnetic field. Click each tab to know more. Take a bar magnet. Put it on a table. Take a white drawing sheet. Place it over the bar magnet. Now take some iron filings. Sprinkle them on the paper. Now tap the table gently with pen or pencil. Observe the changes. In this activity, we observe that in a small space around the magnet, iron filings set themselves in a pattern because they are affected by the magnetic force of the field created by the bar magnet. So, the pattern represents the magnetic field. The space around the magnet where its influence can be detected is called the magnetic field. Finally, we learned that every magnet has an invisible magnetic field around it. This field is made up of lines of force that attract magnetic material such as iron filings. The filings form a pattern as they line up in the direction of the magnetic lines of force. Thus, we say that a field is a region in which a force can be experienced by another object placed at any point in that region. Practically, many forces can act simultaneously on a single body. For example, consider an object placed on a horizontal floor. In this situation, two forces act on the object, where one is the gravitational force and the other is normal force, which acts vertically downwards and vertically upwards respectively. In this case, the forces acting on the object are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. 
hence there exists no change in the state of the object technically the net force on the object is said to be zero as the state of the object does not change the sum of all forces acting on an object called net force imagine that the same object is placed in a lift which is accelerating in this case the object is in non-uniform motion so the net force acting on the object is not equal to zero when two forces act on a body as in the above case one of the forces should be greater than the other to set the body in motion the strength of a force is usually represented by its magnitude the direction of a force is as important as its magnitude. We represent the direction of force using arrows. Now, let us perform an activity to observe the effects of net force acting on an object. Click each tab to know more. Choose a heavy object like a table that you can move only by pushing hot. Try to push it. Observe the changes. Now ask your friend to push in the same direction along with you. Observe the changes. We observe that it is easier to push the table when you take the help of your friend. The force applied by your friend added to the force exerted by you results in both forces being applied on the table in the same direction. The total forces applied by both of you makes it easier to move the table. Now, ask your friend to push the table from the opposite direction to you. Observe the direction in which it moves. We observe that the net force on an object is zero if the two forces acting on it in opposite direction are equal. Finally, we learn that all forces have both magnitude and direction. While adding forces, the directions of forces have to be taken into account. When forces act on a body along a straight line, and they are in the same direction, the net force is taken as the sum of all forces acting on the body. The sign convention must be used to add forces. The force F1 directed towards right could be taken as positive and the force F2 acting towards left could be taken as negative. If F1 greater than F2, then net force F net is equal to F1 plus minus F2 is equal to F1 minus F2. Finally, we conclude that if the two forces act in the opposite directions on an object, the net force acting on it is the difference between the two forces. The object at rest moves in the direction of the net force acting on it. The diagram showing all the forces acting on an object at a particular instant is called the free body diagram. It is denoted as FBD. Assume that a car is moving with a non-uniform speed on the road. Choose a coordinate system with X and Y axis. Sign convention is to be taken along X and Y directions. The forces acting on the car are shown in the FBD or force applied by the engine is equal to capital F. Friction applied by road is equal to small f. Normal forces are N1 and N2. Gravitational force Fg is equal to W. Net force along x direction is equal to small f minus capital F. Net force along y direction is equal to N1 plus N2 minus W. Now, let us do a simple activity 
to identify tasks as push or pull or both. Classify these actions in terms of In science, a push or a pull of an object is called force. Thus, we say that motion imparted to objects is due to the action of force. Force is a push or a pull. It can act on an object with or without being in contact with it. A force acting on body is either a contact force or force acting at a distance. Note, a force always need not change the direction of motion. For example, pushing a wall will not result in change of its motion. Identify the shape of the objects carefully before and after applying the force by clicking the appropriate answer. A force not only changes the state of motion of an object but can also change the shape of an object. It may change the shape temporarily or permanently based on the nature of the object and the force applied on it. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Read the questions and attempt the answers on your own. You can click Answer for your reference. Follow-up work Collect pictures from various sources like internet, magazines, newspapers, etc. to illustrate contact forces at a distance and prepare a scrapbook. A cricket ball of mass M is thrown upward with some initial speed. If the air resistance is neglected, what forces are acting on the ball when it reaches A. Half of its maximum height and B its maximum height. Test your understanding of the lesson by taking the mock unit test. 